Okay, team, so some of our goals and homework assignments right now are to learn and identify our numbers one through 10. Yeah, so the first step you need to do is find the number cards that were in the material bag folder sent home for quarter two materials. And once you find those, pop all of them up and get them into a safe spot. Ms. Shea put hers in a Ziploc baggie. And then if you're the grown up at home, help your child find the numbers one through 10. So now we've got the numbers one through 10 and there's lots of things we can do to try and learn about them. First, we might need to know what numbers we don't know yet. So ask your child, can you put the numbers in order from zero to 10? Okay, if you can't follow along with me and I'll help you. Zero. Zero means nothing. Show me zero. Yeah. And one after zero. Well, if I put zero in my brain and I keep going, the number is one. Straight line down and then you're done. That's the way you make a one. Can you find your number one too? Zero. One. Show me your fingers. Two. Oh, that's a candy cane and then a shoe. This is how you make a two. One, two, three. Loop around a tree, loop around a tree. This is how we make a three. One, show me. Two, three, four. This is the number four. Okay, I'm gonna keep going until I get to five. One, I see it in the 10 frame. Two, three, four, here's five. So let's pause right here. If your child cannot recognize one through five, do not move on. I want you to just focus on one through five. There's lots of things you can do with this. Give your child a number in a random order. What number is this? Three. Count a tower of three cubes. One, two, three. Just, it's just as important to truly understand what the number is as it is to understand the number itself. And then if they don't know the number three, have them grab their whiteboard and a marker and begin to practice it while they say it. Around a tree, around a tree, that's the way you make a three. Around a tree and around a tree, that's the way you make a three. Continue on with your child, asking them to find what number comes next in the sequence. When your child can successfully sequence the numbers zero through 10, mix it up and ask them like a flashcard almost. It's what number is this? Yep, they should be able to identify it very, very quickly. Once you feel your child can successfully put zero to 10 in order and identify all numbers zero to 10, you can practice things like, show me this number with your fingers. Show me this number with your cubes. Touch and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Show me this number with dots. Using the board, yep, and the marker. Once your child, once we can all successfully identify zero through 10, we will be able to move on past the number 10. 